A stands for axis. If you imagine a normal beat originating in the sinus node, coming down through the AV node, the bundle of Hiss, and then the Purkinje fibers. It's starting towards the upper right part of your body, and then it's moving down to the lower left, because that's the orientation of the heart. If you have an axis that's pointing in the exact opposite direction, if you have an overall QRS axis that's pointing down from the apex of the heart back up towards the right shoulder, really the only way for that to happen is because that impulse is originating in the tip of the heart, and that's all ventricular myocardium. What we call an extreme northwest axis. In an extreme northwest axis deviation, a lot of times the QRS in AVR is completely upright. That's a pretty good indication that it's starting down in the ventricles and moving backwards from the normal direction of an impulse propagating through the heart. I would say, first thing, look at the axis and glance at AVR. You're looking for a totally monomorphic upright QRS in AVR or an extreme axis deviation, both of those being indicators that you're dealing with ventricular tachycardia.